sixth grade, module two, lesson two, problem set. Number one, Nicole used three eighths of her ribbon to wrap a present. If she used six feet of ribbon for the present, how much ribbon did Nicole have at first? So she used three eighths of the ribbon and that was equal to six feet. So it said we need to model our answer. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram and split it into eighths. And we know that three eighths was equal to six feet. So if we took this, these three sections that we have and split them equally between the six feet, each one would be two feet, which means that all of the rest would also be two feet. So in total, we would have two times, there's eight different sections. She had 16 uh, feet of ribbon to start. Number two, a boy scout has three meters of rope. He cuts the rope into cords three-fifths meters long. How many cords will he make? Okay, so he starts out with three meters of rope. So the hole is three. And he cuts the cords into three, rope into cords three-fifths meters long. So I'm going to go ahead and split it all, them all into fifths. Didn't do that very evenly. Okay, so now I'm going to group them into three fifths. So there's one group of three fifths, another one. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So how many chords could he make? Five chords. Or another way of looking at it, that is what we did was took three and divided it by three fifths. So we could have turned three into something fifths. Three is equal to 15 fifths. So if we do 15 fifths divided by 3 fifths, we will get 15 divided by 3 is 5. So that gets us our 5 chords, or what we did right here. Number 3. 12 gallons of water fill a tank to 3 fourths capacity. What is the capacity of the tank? Okay, so. I'm going to draw a tape get diagram. So it says that 12 gallons fills it to 3 fourths. So I'm going to split it into fourths. And 12 gallons is 3 fourths. So these three pieces, if we were to split them equally, each one would be 4 gallons. Which means this last one would be four gallons, so the capacity of the tank is 16 gallons total. B, if the tank is then filled to capacity, how many half gallon bottles can be filled with the water in the tank? So we wanna take 16 and split it into 16 gallons divided by half gallon bottles. And I'm not gonna draw a picture. What we did in the, the um, classwork today was we learned that 16 divided by a half is the th same thing as 16 times two. And 16 times two is equal to 32. So it would be 32 half gallon bottles. Number four, Hunter spent two thirds of his money on a video game before spending half of his remaining money on lunch. If his lunch cost $10, how much money did he have at first? 
Okay, so we know part. We know that he spent two-thirds of his money on a video game. Then he spent half of his remaining money on lunch. So let's draw a tape diagram. We can start dividing this up. So two-thirds of his money on a video game. And he spent, before spending, half of his remaining money. So this right here would be the remaining money. Remaining money. He spent half of it. So this would be lunch. If his lunch cost $10, how much money did he have at first? So his lunch, or this part, is $10 which means that this part is also $10 because we just split it in half. And which means that the remaining money was $20. So if the remaining is equal to one third or $20, then all of his money, this would also be $20, this would also be $20, three thirds is equal to $60. So you could do 20 times 3 equals $60. So we get $60 to start. Number 5. Students were surveyed about their favorite colors. One fourth of the students preferred red, one eighth of the students preferred blue, and three fifths of the remaining students preferred green. If 15 students preferred green, how many students were surveyed? Tape diagram. We know one-fourth preferred red, so I'm going to split it into fourths. So this portion preferred red. One-eighth preferred blue. So an eighth is half of a fourth, so I can just split that in half and say that that is blue. Three-fifths of the remaining students preferred green. So I'm just going to look and see what I have here. So since I split this into eighths, I can also, I'm going to split this into eighths so that I have one, two, three, four, five pieces left, and I can find three of those fifths. So if I take three of them, those three are green. And that's equal to 15. So if I were to put, split the 15 among these three equal parts, each one would be five. So those are all five. This is the same, it's one eighth, that's five. Five, five, the only thing that's bigger is this part right here, which is one fourth. I could split it in half though, and they would all be Five. So I have five times how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would get 40 students that were surveyed. Number six, Mr. Scruggs got some money for his birthday. He spent one fifth of it on dog treats. Then he divided the remainder equally among his three favorite charities. What fraction of his money did each charity receive? So if he spent one-fifth of it on dog treats, that means that he had four-fifths left. And we need to take that four-fifths and divide it by three. So that's the same thing as saying one-third times four-fifths. And we will get four fifteenths. So each charity got four fifteenths of his money. So if he donated sixty dollars to each charity, how much money did he receive for his birthday? So four fifteenths is equal to sixty dollars. Or we could say that 
if we had a tape diagram. If I separated this into fifteenths. There's 15. Okay, so four of them. This is equal to $60. So that's how much that is. We want to know what the total is. So another four, or let's do it this way. So each piece, if we were to separate, we want to know how much 1 15th is. Let's divide that by 4. Each of these is $15, which means they are all $15. So 15 times 15. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times one is five plus one two is seven. We get two hundred twenty-five dollars total for his birthday.